What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Noxon from Insomniac Gaming and today I'm going to bring you a let's play of Bionic Commando. Now, this is a uh, an idea that I've been playing around with for a while in terms of uh, a YouTube um, videos. So I've seen a lot of let's plays, you know, that's, that's quite, quite prevalent in YouTube so I thought we should start throwing our own hats in here. Um, and I picked Bionic Commando because it's pretty much one of my, you know, favourite games of all time. Like I've, I've obviously got more modern favourites, but this one, if I ever, you know, need to have a little light play around with a platform, and this is the one I go for each time. Now, this was came out in 1988. It's by Capcom. Um, it's based off of a Japanese game called uh, Top Secret Hitler's Revival. And what you'll see is you'll see a a lot of um, eagles uh, dotted around the various levels. Now those would be originally uh, swastikas, but for the European and American release, there was uh, uh, pretty much like they were saying, no way to the whole Hitler stuff. So even though Hitler's face does actually come up uh, at the end, you'll see, um, and you get to blow Hitler's face off, which is <laughs> always, always always something I'd wanted to do. Um, you get you, essentially anything else in terms of like the instead of the Nazis they're called the Bads, which is like a bit too childish for me. But whatever it floats your boat. It is though a really good game, uh, and it, I do like the more I say mainstream. I sound like a dick there. Um, I do like the more mainstream um, platformers, such as obviously um, Mario for the NES and uh, Sonic for the for the Mega Drive. But uh, this one, to me, is probably my favourite, purely for the fact that it's, it's quite, not re I suppose revolutionary in a way, because it uses um, a different system with the bionic arm. Usually you have uh, jumping, whereas in this one there's actually no jumping at all. You have to rely purely on, on, on your ability to control physics, that wonderful thing that everyone falls asleep to. Uh, so in every level there's a communication bit where you have to kind of like say stuff to people. Now. Sometimes they've got the translation a little bit funky, which is one here. Area 4 is an arsenal. Maybe we can find a good weapon we can use. That's lovely. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, yeah, essentially, you've done, when you get to the, the communication point, usually they give you some hopefully useful information. And then from there on, you uh, make your way to the, the boss bit, which is usually either a battalion or a... Um, or a fuck my tits. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I'm usually not that bad, but whatever. Um, I'm, I'm gonna. It's gonna be t essentially totally unedited. I'm not gonna prove that I'm some pro elite bionic commando. -er, although I did fancy myself as relatively good, but obviously not today. Um, I've totally lost my track of thought. Uh, anyway, what I tend to do here is. Oh, Oh, god damn it, I hate those guys. They're the second worst enemies in this game. The guys with the bombs. Um, what I like to tend to do around about this first stage is get a few um, heart pieces up, or lives, essentially. What I do is I stay here, and there's always two people that spawn. Now, one thing which always freaked me out was they would fly in through the ceiling, but land on the floor. So, is, are we... Is there, is there a ledge? Is there something? I don't, I don't know the physics really. Um, but essentially what I'll do now is I'm not going to bore you with me grinding this out for like a couple of minutes. So I'll just fast forward until I've actually got about five. Get get a few nice um, lives behind you and you're good to go for pretty much the entire thing. Because you get, you get more like the, the heart, instead of heartbeat pieces or whatever, you get bullets. And then after you get a certain amount of bullets, which you can check in your map screen, you get an extra uh, health bar bit. Uh, so I like to do this at the start just to get a few, um, a, f a bit of backup so that when you do get hit you're not completely dead like what happened earlier. So yeah, I'll just fast forward now. Alright, so we're back. Um, I've, ma I've managed to go with four. Uh, I'll pick some up on the on the way though, so there's, there's usually you kind of not, you don't really need, I mean there's uh, the speed runs where someone's like pretty much got none. So you you only need some if you're a bit clumsy like me. Unfortunately, I'm 
dyspraxic as hell in this game. I do. If there's a way to kill yourself, I'll probably will do it. Spike's never near me. I'm a goner. I'm out of this world. But um, yeah, we're coming up to the first boss battle here. This is just the the, the main. Oh crap! I hate bombs. God damn it. Right, yeah, I'm not that good. Um, they they all f follow a pattern. You essentially have to um, uh, get to the the reactor bit and blow the reactor up. Now this is a bit different from the remake, um, which actually requires you to do something other than that. But I'll go into that a little bit of detail later on. Um, so essentially, what you want to do is try and make your way to the right as quick as possible. Not even bother. As long as you're not getting hit, that's fine. And then just spam putting bullets into them until it explodes. It shouldn't be too long. There we go. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, the uh, the rearmed version, which is uh, from the Xbox Live, I think it's on the PlayStation now, I'm not too sure, uh, essentially kind of takes a lot from the game. Like, a lot of the stage layouts are similar. Uh, it's pretty much a remake, and they've added some stuff in, like, uh, grenades and just some slightly different guns. Um, but... It's really good, but the only problem is, is it doesn't feel as fluid as this game does. Like the 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 grappling in this game is 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 pretty pretty sharp. You you know you're definitely in control. Whereas in the remake, it feels a little, there's a little bit of a little bit of lag. Maybe it's just maybe I'm just terrible, but <laughs> which isn't outside the realms of possibility, obviously, because um, I remember trying to speed run this on a stream. And it was god awful. Oh man, I died so much. I actually had to use state, save states, I'm almost certain. So I'm going to get the flares because the next stage is in darkness. Now, I have done this many times where you've, I've actually forgot the flares. You can go through area. F whoops. Uh, you can go through area 4 without the flares. Uh, it's not impossible, but um, you might want to have to memorize the map to do that. If I, I don't think I run into them here. The green blocks are actually trucks, and you kind of go into a, a an over-the-top view, which is pretty similar, if not the same, as uh, another NES game called Commando, <coughs> which I believe, excuse me, uh, is uh, also made by Capcom. Um, it's fun in itself, uh, but um, I've also found it as a big, massive pain in the ass. But maybe that's just me again. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to let it get dark. It does actually get brighter here, so you can see, but I prefer just, you know, might as well use the flares if I've got them. The only problem <laughs> I have with this bit of the level is there's spikes everywhere now. And there's the, oh my god, the running guys in this is just ri ridiculous. You have to kind of spam buttons really quick. If, you, if one catches you off guard and you're kind of like, eh, you're in trouble. There are different communicators in this game. So that adds a kind of uh, more of an element to it of making sure you're prepared. If you go down to the wrong uh, level with the wrong communicator, you're essentially stuffed. So you just got to make sure you go to that uh, the communicator room before. Because if all oh, what am I doing? Okay, <laughs> whoops. Doing fantastic. I'm already wow. I'm really low on health. Where am I? Where's all my health gone? Oh crap. Oh well, it looks like I'm going to have to try and do this without any extra health, but... No, I'll just die. That's good as well. Luckily, I can go back to the uh, communicator room. It's kind of acts as a checkpoint, which is handy. I'm a little bit confused as to why I didn't have full health. I think I must have lost quite a bit from that um, uh, spike fall. I think you do actually take two points of damage from it. Now, in the Jap uh, Japanese version, there's actually a uh, one up up there, but they've taken it. They've changed quite a bit um, in the American as well. Like um, some of the layouts are slightly different. You get different rewards as well, I think. If I'm right, this is the PPP, one of the famous bosses. Again, you don't really technically have to kill. Oh no, it's not. Oh, I hate this guy. It's the German guy with the mustache. Here we go. I'm essentially, <laughs> I'm essentially not going to uh, attempt to kill him. You can like get behind him, but it's a massive pain in the ass. He also looks really fat in that picture. Uh, and he's got a, uh, a vertical swinging, um, like a, an arm like I do, but it kind of knocks you off 
and hurts you. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go straight for it. That's what you do with pretty much all of those boss battles. Go straight for that. Um, uh, go for the reactor and just blast it off. Uh, I'm going to stop it here just so to keep them, you know, relatively bite sized. This has been Noxon playing a bit of uh, Bionic Commando. Um, please make sure you check out www.insomniacgamers.net. We do 24 hour streaming. All goodness, lots of streamers, lots of different types of games, from JRPGs to FPSs, all sorts of stuff, and you can request on the forums. Um, I hope you have a good day. This is part one. Up next will, of course, be part two. Bye-bye.